Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul and this is the first summer haul I've done. I'll try not to do a lot of them, but in the summer I do a lot of shopping. It's pretty dangerous and bad how much shopping I do and just seeing all the stuff laid out on the floor, like I feel kind of bad, but not bad enough to stop shopping because shopping is so much fun and a lot of the stuff I buy is food, so it's kind of gone, but... Yeah, so this isn't even everything I've bought within the first week of my summer, but I have only been in summer for a week and one day, and I have done a lot of damage, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These seem to get, like, a good amount of views, so it seems like you guys like them, and if you want more hauls, then give it a thumbs up, because I don't want to be, like, doing a bunch of hauls for you guys this summer if you don't want any, but yeah, comment down below and thumbs it up if you want more hauls, and let's get into the video. I'll try not to make it too long, because I do that. So the first place I went was JCPenney and I got this really cute shirt that just has like the sleeves, you know, like folded in. I always try to describe that and I never can. If you know the word for like the folded in edges on like pants or sleeves, leave it down below. And then it's just like colored and it's a little bit, um, what's the word? It's a little bit cropped. I also got a set of rings, which are right here. Um, the one I bought it for was this infinity ring because isn't that just cute? And then I got a bunch of gold rings, which one of these I wore yesterday. And then I also got this like, it's not a rose gold, it's like a interesting gold shade. So yes, those are really cute and they're normally $12 for all of them, but I got it for six. And one is stuck on my finger. The last thing that I got from JCPenney's are the pants that I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they have the folded up bottom and they're like a bit too big on me, but kind of not. And they have some like little like, not rips, you know, like the little like fuzzies. Then this was actually before summer, but my dad had a birthday and he gives us like some stuff for his birthday, which is so nice and he doesn't have to and he knows that, but he does and it's not like an expectation. This is the first year he's done it, but I got a Hot Designs nail set. This was technically for my older sister too, but she doesn't ever paint her nails and I'm trying to pull out the instructions. Are you kidding me? I pull it out and you still can't see the nail polish because someone put it in wrong. But anyways, Hot Designs is just like a nail art pen set and it's so cool because it's a pen, but then it's also a brush of the same color. So you can paint it on or you can use it like a pen and it sounds weird, but yeah, he got me that. I also got these Sony headphones, which I tried to untangle them for you guys, but you know, you can see how it's working for me. But anyways, they're just this like magenta purpley pinky color not really sure what this color is but they are really cute and I'm going to get a good use out of these in the summer trying to block out my siblings then I went to the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale and I just got one thing I got this Oahu coconut sunset turbo moisture body cream and it smells just like coconuts oh, it smells so good and I really love it a lot I've been using this every day after I shower and it really like makes my legs so smooth it's amazing and it smells really good and it was only three dollars so go check it out then I went to the then I went to the mall with my mom and we went to Aeropostale because I had a gift card there from my birthday and I should really take off the hanger but too late now I got two tank tops from Aeropostale and I love the design on these it's so pretty like just look at that design and I wore one yesterday but this one's like a really pretty like blue turquoisey teal color like I just came off the hanger oh my gosh I don't even know what color it would be but it's just like a really pretty blue but the one I wore yesterday that I got was gray and they were on sale where it was like buy two for ten dollars or something I don't know it seemed like a pretty good deal and I don't have any cute tank tops and then I also got a really pretty cardigan that I wore yesterday and so they're in the wash because I like to wash my clothes then a few days ago I went shopping with my friend and we basically hit like every store that's ever existed so the first place we went to was Ikea and I got a roll of this stuff which up close is like little circles and I put this in between my makeup drawers which you can see on my desk not the drawers but like the cubes each cube has three drawers and I have them stacked on top of each other and often when I'm pulling out a drawer too fast the whole cube of three drawers will fall off and that's a pretty terrible feeling when you see all your makeup just crashing to the ground so I bought a roll of this and I only used a little bit like that much 
to go on top of both my drawers and it's like huge so it's gonna last me forever and so I'm basically kind of giving it to my mom so you know the last thing I got at Ikea beside food and a cinnamon roll was this really cute jar and I love it so much I put a bunch of nail polish in it and it was like three dollars and it comes with this lid and it's like you know like in the candy jars and movies and I always wanted something like this so I was so excited to get one for myself then we went to Walmart because I told them I'd only gone to like three Walmarts in my life and I never really bought anything there and I realized that Walmart has a ton of elf stuff but I only had like a few dollars left in my wallet so I just got the elf angled eyeliner brush which is like the thinnest brush handle ever and it looks like this it was so funny, I was with my friend and we didn't realize it was supposed to be an angled eyeliner brush and we totally thought it was just like dented right there for no reason and she thought I should take it back because it was broken. I've only tried using this once and it was with this mascara like as an eyeliner because I didn't want to buy a waterproof eyeliner because I couldn't find one that was like good with good reviews so I didn't want to buy a waterproof eyeliner and anyways I tried using this mascara as an eyeliner with this brush and it didn't really work so I hope with a different eyeliner this brush will work better but so far I wouldn't really recommend it. Then we went to Walgreens because I had been really wanting the Jordana Fabuliner which everyone talks about and it isn't waterproof. I was looking for the um, Jessie's Girl waterproof pen eyeliner that's like this one because I've seen it in tons of tutorials and it's supposed to be like three dollars and it's waterproof but I thought they sold Jessie's Girl at Walgreens but I couldn't find it there so is it sold at Walgreens because I don't know leave it in the comments down below anyways I'm so excited to try this one out I still have a pen eyeliner open right now and my elf liquid eyeliner so in one of those <sighs> oh yeah girl then my mom went to Costco and um, Costco is like the cutest swimsuits ever that like if you're looking for something that's not a bikini they're impossible to find like even tankinis anywhere like it's just all the tankinis aren't that cute but Costco is the best ones and last year they didn't have them in extra small by the time I got there at the end of the summer so I couldn't buy one but this year I got one and my mom brought like a ton of patterns home um, but this one was the only one in extra small, but it's actually so cute and it's just like a mint color and it has some like ruffles and it's like um, Not striped. It's like chevron and it's green and white and then the bottom is just green and it's so cute And I love it so much. So go to your Costco and get you a nice tanky Lastly, I went to Macy's. I never go to Macy's because it, like they just have overpriced stuff, I think so, but my friend got me a gift card there. I did have $25, so I bought one like makeup-y beauty thing because it's all like so expensive there. And then I bought some chocolate to finish up my gift card. So the chocolate I got is the Franco Frango Frango. And this is the mandarin mandarin. It's the orange chocolate and it's just like in this cool little box and I already ate like half of it and I just got this today letting you guys know but they just look like this and they're like little cute truffles and it's just so cute and they taste amazing. Then the beauty related thing that I got I have not even opened yet and I'm really really excited to try it and it's the Clinique Acne Solutions Emergency Gel Lotion Intensive. And this has benzoyl peroxide and acne medication, obviously, but it just looks like this. And I haven't even seen what it looks like on the inside, but I was looking up reviews for like acne stuff online. Ooh, looks so fancy. Have you guys ever tried anything by Clinique? Because I have not, but I guess I will. But yeah, it looks really nice and I will definitely try it tonight if you guys want a first impressions or a review on this Clinique Fancy Pants stuff then leave a comment down below letting me know. So that's everything I got from everywhere basically in my summer so far so sorry if you thought that would be more exciting or happy if you thought that would be less exciting because... Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and just comment down below any of the things I mentioned throughout this video I have a bad memory so I asked a lot of questions I always ask you guys questions because you just know like all the answers to everything and you make me feel really stupid when you comment down below and you're like uh you sell it at Target and I'm like oh also if you guys want a waterproof makeup look comment down below and give this video a thumbs up because I'm thinking about doing a waterproof makeup look but I'm not so sure because I don't have a waterproof eyeliner but I can totally go looking for one if you guys want to see that video but otherwise it's not worth it for me 
and bye. That was a really awkward. Did I start recording? <laughs>